Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where I'm tracking my own and everyone else's consciousness using these public space weather tools. So let's get into today's video. We have earthquakes in Russia that took over today, but I also have footage of this particular prominence coming off the sun, which has gained everybody's attention for the last 24 hours. Very beautiful. The sun is over here on the right hand side and it's just the particular angstroms and the angles that we can see the sun that we're seeing it look this particular way but it's still very cool and everybody was decently excited about it where's a little better footage of it over here if you want to get a closer look so there was a coronal mass ejection that came out the top of the sun this way and out the bottom at the same time during and around this episode if i'm understanding correctly but we have then some news from Russia, some geopolitical news right here about somebody who has fallen to their death. So that's very unfortunate. And the earthquakes in general have been kind of picking up the pace. So we've got the biggest earthquake over here, the 6.5 over here, north of Japan. Things are the most spicy over here in the world. And again, the global consciousness dot was all in the red during this time. We've just kind of recovered in my opinion, and I understand why. I mean, there was earthquake alerts all around the world that I can see on the seismographic evidence over here. It's everywhere. This earthquake seems apparent on almost all of these charts, which is interesting to me. It was really kind of an earthquake around the world kind of moment, but not as epic. I just hope everybody's okay over there. It seemed like it's not as heavily of a populated area from my understanding of things. I haven't heard of that area of Russia. I didn't know there was even islands up there that were Russian on the, the north of uh, Japan. That was new to me. So very interesting. Learn something. Thank you, earthquake alerts. So we aren't expecting any solar flares right now. We aren't expecting any coronal mass ejections, it seems like, in our direction. Like I said, the footage, this is the 24th into the 25th. There's some explosions. There goes the 25th explosion. There we go. Nothing really happens. Nothing really happens through the 26th. Then we're going to have one on the top left and one at the bottom right here one after that flash. Perfect. So flash and then boom, boom. And I believe that's when that prominence was happening. I was showing you at the beginning of this video. So we did not get a huge geomagnetic storm. There wasn't major aurora like I was perhaps expecting yesterday's video, but there was some disturbances in the solar wind and the data got a little funky. And then now Russia's dealing with this earthquake and some geopolitical stuff. And their charts look a little bit weird too. If we just move over to the Russian EMF or ELF charts over here, there is some stoking and some bizarre behavior that's happened as well. So little bit of focus over there. Hope they're doing all right. If they need anything, let us know. Of course, we will. We want everyone to be well. May life carry on. May innocence be preserved. Over here, we have the huge coronal mass ejection. Um, never mind. This is the coronal hole. I just say coronal mass ejection a lot. Sorry, guys. Coronal hole. I know it's hard to even learn this. I'm sorry to mix up the words, but coronal hole is what these are. This is going to cause the solar wind to speed up and earthquakes to happen. So that's sort of still checking out, even though the solar wind speed's not very fast right now. We certainly saw earthquakes, but the solar wind speed's been slowly picking up. I've been reshooting this video over and over, and the, so the wind speed is slowly getting faster. The overall precipitation over Earth has reduced, as well as the lightning over Earth has reduced since the last video. And I would say... The last thing I need to show you is the availability on my website. Again, if you need a session, I'll be working into the weekend. I have some clients already interested, so I'd be happy to sit with you guys. We can do a nice psychic medium weekend, so pile on if you need some help. I'll be ready already, and I will be doing a video on my channel about all of December, the summary of all of December that I do every month. So please join my Patreon if you're interested. You can do that through my website. You see the logos right over here <laughs> or the pop-up that will come up and I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.
Bubble Beep.